My name is Xavier, and welcome to a liberation to for me and you. I just saw a pot of three over there by the evac, so that's interesting. In any event, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six people here. We've got no Shinobi. I do have a Phantom Constantine, though. There's 15. God, look how long of a distance I have to go. There's 15 enemies on this map. Yeah, I can see the Shock Trooper. Did I call him a commando before? Uh, also a Grenadier of, the, I think, the M2 variety. And then there was something else over there. I think I saw a pod like over here or someplace and then a whole bunch of stuff down down there. Uh, in any event, where is the cell door for this one? All the way in the back facing away from us. Boy, that's going to be a tough one. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to come up the left side then as aggressively as we can. Now, before I do that, I got to fix Matt's stats here. So as you can see, Matt Love, aim 81 hack 79 will 88 all of these are at maximum red fog penalty for some bug uh i've never seen before but to fix this i could just you know finish the mission with him and it would all go away or i could fix it right now and then have him have his normal stats so we're gonna do that i already gone through this and made sure it worked so the console commands are set stat on closest unit e stat underscore offense 81 very very intuitive bam Make sure also your mouse is right over him so that he's the one getting these uh, in that case. So offense, will, and hacking. Also very important because he is potentially going to hack that door. Now, over over stats and oh, voila! It's all fixed. I think it was uh, Wool Pertinger or some such in the Discord that helped me out with that. So that's pretty awesome. Now I don't have to play this whole mission with Matt having Gip stats. Uh, that being said, let's be hyper aggressive here. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's nothing over here to the right. So what we're going to do is move, I think, Cecilia. Oh, they, they, the Advent does have Vigilance. You know what? Let's move Megan up first. Um, you know what? We'll just go right there. Pretty sure there's something up here someplace. Well, I don't see it, wherever the heck it is. So let's try to take a wide berth here with Saij. I'm pretty sure there was something either in this building or near the side of the building, maybe on the roof of the building. Okay, we don't see anything on the roof, and we can see much of it. So... What I'm actually going to do here is try to get on the roof right now, Sage. See if there's any, like, weird drone out there. There's not. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, so, everyone dash up. Going to be very aggressive because the time is a ticking, as they say. Location confirmed. Victor up there. Beautiful. Cecilia ever vigilant as well. I suppose here is as good as any place. Matt, yeah, you're going to be the last one up. Constantine, you need to keep your concealment, but we'll probably stick you, like, right there. And now Mac can come up, and now Megan can probably come up a little bit more. Now, someone had mentioned that Advent may have Vigilance now. I thought I thought they were going to get it soon, not that they had it, but maybe they do have it. So I'm going to pay a little bit uh, of attention to Vision Ranges in this one. This is only Liberation 2. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up liberating this region, but it's low enough, and I have enough Rebels that I could probably detect Liberation 3 quite, uh, quite successfully, I believe. But we'll see. Let's move up with Saeed first, because, you know, Grenadier. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 the smarter move is probably taking Megan up. But I want to bring her here, and that's kind of a... You know, like, if I want to use her... Let's say we move up and we activate right now. Like, I could move Megan here and, and use her from high cover to do a lot of cool things. However, you know, if she gets spotted moving up here, well, I guess it doesn't make any difference either way. Hmm, I guess we're less likely to get spotted from Saeed coming up to this corner, so you know what? Let's just do it. We'll take a risk. Ah, there we go. Some kind of, like... What even is that? A commando? No. A uh, scout? What are, they, what, are they, what are they even called? That is called a... It is a commando. Okay, interesting. I thought the ones with the capes, or one of the ones with the capes were commandos. Hmm, plus there was those guys over there as well. Now, this enables me to see that I would have gotten spotted had I come up, here, come up here with Megan. Which is very interesting information. God, they can see very far. They must have vigilance. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 tiles they can see. That's almost full vision range. That's against the scram gun, too. So... Mm. Oh, wow, look at that. Anyone else who came up here, Victor would have been spotted. Uh, Cecilia would have been spotted. You know what? Let's run over here with Cecilia and then over here for the ever vigilant. I think... Actually, you know what? I kind of... I think I need to get spotted because we got we to gotta move. Like, the reinforcements are incoming. Things have to happen. We got to start fighting. So what I'm actually going to do is put myself in a position where we will get spotted. 
and then we can shoot them regardless. So I'm gonna have Cecilia stand here in the open, Position believe it or not. Burned. We're gonna have Matt do the exact same thing. Or even have him dash up here forever vigilant into that location. I don't want to get spotted right now. I want to get spotted at the end of this turn. We'll have uh, Victor come up there. Fantastic. Oh, did he just see? He saw something else. Beautiful. Thank God. M3 gunner, M3 officer. I just didn't want to activate on two things. Now we can activate on four things, which is pretty good. Constantine, I don't want to lose his concealment. But wow. I mean, that's going to be a tall order, right? I guess we'll move him up here for now. We'll grab Megan and pull her closer to the squad, like up over here. You know what? We should probably make it so she's more likely to get spotted. Uh, so we'll run her uh, up there. Okay. So hopefully someone sees us and we can go loud right now. Let's quick end turn. And call it a day. Door just open in the back there as well. So this is four things. Five, six, seven over here with these three. Uh, spot, please? Spot? Oh, really? 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 That's actually super bad, because now reinforcements are yellow. So, so, ooh, small supply cache and squad reflexes. Squad reflexes could be very good. You know what else we could do is activate by hacking that thing? That might not be a bad idea. Especially if Cecilia's on Overwatch to begin with, like right here. Let's do it. There now. I think we're going to do it. We're going to move her up there. We're going to go on Overwatch. I think we're going to check this with Matt. See what the squad... I think squad reflexes is dodge, right? It's like 25 dodge on everybody for seven turns. Squad dodge gets by 25 for only two turns. But reinforcements, no thank you. No thank you. So what I'm actually going to do is let's think about tossing is matt gonna be okay here he might be he might not be i'm not sure either way let's move him over here we'll hack this drone and then we'll just go to town we'll see what happens i really wish we had activated with overwatch there but what are you gonna do 92 percent don't fail matt Woo. god that was like a two percent chance of success there but we pulled it off amazingly Best ha Good thing I fixed his stats, because he may very well have failed that had I not fixed it, because the um, the hacking ratio is like... I forget what I'm trying to say here. But it's like, uh, it's against each other, so the more you lose, the worse. What the hell is this? So this guy runs... A oh, he probably had Shadow Step, actually, now that I think about it. Hope these guys come up and pull the Overwatch. That's what I wanted to see. Sicilian Umuro Uno. Bam, hit for 12! Gunner doesn't move. <clears throat> okay. Well, that's less than fortunate, I will say. This is probably not the best activation I've ever had. I could suppress these two, but I'm pretty sure that guy is Shadow Step thinking about it now. Um, interesting. So. I got a fire grenade. I got a gunner out there. I know there's other stuff over there as well on the right side. We can't really get any flanks here. I do have a hit and run if I on, on Megan if I can expose someone. We got Victor who can probably suppress. You know what, Saij, you can probably move down here, right, like here-ish. And I bet you, or maybe here, no, here. Let's go down here with Saij, see if we activate, I doubt it. Maybe we'll use a Shred Storm here, because he's got two incendiaries and he's got a plasma grenade. I want to kind of hammer my way right through all these things. Okay, interesting. Hit every single tile except the one I need to. Uh, I can do this, but that's probably not going to destroy the cover. And if I want to use the hit and run, I kind of need to destroy the cover. So maybe I'll leave the commando alone. Um, uh, sure, let's go for it. Let's go for it. A poof. Okay, nice. The gunner is actually exposed now. Oh, I heard a snake slither in there. You guys hear that snake slither? Slither snake gonna slither. That's what I always say. Consist or not so silly. Oh, look at that. Megan can move over here for a hit and run, but that's a pretty terrible hit and run at this point. But you know what? So what? So what? SMG hit and run, 49% with 12 graves? Sure, it's better than zero, why not? Let's go for it, cross map. SMG, boom! Yeah, well, no surprises there, to be honest. Can we go for a arc pulser? 90, that's basically 100% elite officer, zero. Okay, so we can definitely lock down the gunner with an arc pulser if we wanted to. Another thing I want to do is move Constantine up here in such a way that I can start scouting the rest of the map with his concealment. I'm pretty sure he won't get spotted there unless that commando does something weird. I don't think he will, though. I didn't want to expose Constantine over here to this side. I probably should have thinking about it now because everything's going to be in here someplace. God, this is actually pretty tense. Pretty tense. 
Well, we got Victor, we got Megan, and we, that's it. Uh, well, this is what I'm going to do then. Let's use Victor to suppress the elite officer. We'll use Megan to indeed... Maybe I should just take another shot. 65%? No, not on the drone. Uh, what's that like? Like 61 or something? Alternatively, I can shut him down for 100, but I may need that stun next turn because I heard those snakes slither, and they're probably going to run out here and do some crazy stuff. I th think... Shutting him down is not the highest value. Also, the gunner may just shoot the drone as well. So you know what? Let's just go for the shot here. 49 with 12. Megan, second time's a charm. Nice. Very nice. Now I'll have my arc pulser up next turn if I need it, because I'm pretty sure something's going to come in. I mean, the drone's up here, right? So anything that moves is probably going to see this drone. Commando shoots the drone, by the way. Taking the bait. Uh, hits for amazingly eight. Victor's like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? My name's Victor and I'm on a roof. Like, come on. Let's be serious now. Hit for 22. Combat rush! Forgot all about that. That's actually pretty cool. And we didn't activate. How the hell? Okay, but I need to kill... Look at the freaking vision of that commando. Unacceptable! Uh, let's move over here with Saish for a flank. Actually, a flank right there was also going to work. Flank over here potentially work. Megan for the hit and run would be better. But the only place we can get it is right here. And that opens her up. Well, I was going to say I could run and gun, but you can't run and gun and hit and run. Run and gun and hit and run. Although why, I don't know, because there's a trillion and a half things that are like way more overpowered than that. Why can't we move over here? Is it because we have to go around Saish? So if I move Saish, will we then be able to do what I want to do? I think the answer is yes. Let's move up and activate something. Oddly enough, we don't. I'm really worried about that because I know there was one pot over here at one point. I doubt they came up here. They must be behind me then. All right, now, because we move Saish, can we move Megan one more towel? Sure. Oh, that was the activation I was waiting for. And they are over here. Darn it. Okay, now we got a shock trooper, longbow, and a grenadier. And now we're kind of in like a world of not fun time town. But... What's our shots over here? That guy actually has evasive. We've already used our thing over here. I may need this explosive to get into the jail cell. Well, not necessarily. There's a door open there, which means I know there's stuff back there. Could also use this explosive to level this heavily fortified bunker right there, which would be fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Or I could use Saish's incendiary to knock off that, um, whatever it's called. That would be a great opportunity as well. Dash the drone out here. Hmm, interest. Matt, we only have the small supply cache. Probably want to go forever vigilant on him over here in this direction so we can shoot down that mech. I bet Cecilia is going to end up doing the same thing. Dash into ever vigilant someplace. Uh, so that just leaves Victor. I could move Victor, bloody hell, not right there, unfortunately, where he could get cover. Could move him like here. And we could probably do like a kill zone up over in that direction. All right, well, I see that things are not looking fantastic right now. We're definitely going to pop a fortify here on Saish. I think I'm going to actually use Megan. Well, she has got the hit and run. So I use Saish to, to break the cons uh, evasive. Megan hit and runs over there. Then we use her shredder to take down this. Yes, that's perfect. And then Saeed keeps the plasma grenade for the jail cell if we need it. So let's go for it. A solo oh, no. incendiary grenade on the evasive McDoofus. Yep, you're going to have a 100% chance to evade. I'll just counter it with a 100% chance to burn. Hit for eight and a burning. That's fantastic. He's out of the game for a little bit there. Now, that frees Megan up to take that hit and run shot. 56% with 17 grays. Sure, why not? Hit and run. Hit and run! Or in this case, we're going to go for a bit of the old hit and pop a reload and pop a shredder and blow down all this cover and heavily fortified bunker no more and tons of damage. Poof. And be standing in the open like a giant doofus. Hit for three with a shred and hit for seven. Not bad. Not good because everyone's flanked and in the open, but I mean, that's how I like to play this game. We're all flanked. We're all in the open. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. This guy is no longer of concern to me. I could move out here with a drone. What's my odds of actually shooting this guy with a drone shock? Zero over there. The other one, he can't even hit for whatever reason. I'm kind of thinking let's run away with the drone. If nothing else, fly over here behind Saeed. Don't activate. Let's see what our shots are over here. 48, 27, and zero. That 48 with a 12 graze is actually not that bad. Alternative, I could run right up there and kill the drone. But you know what? They'll, hopefully, they'll shoot the drone. Let's go for the shot here. 48 with 12 grays. Drone! Come on! Drone! Right 
the skull. Beautiful. Critical hit on the drone. 16% for four. Yeah, I'll take that every day of the week. Meanwhile, I think Cecilia needs to just get as close as possible for two incredibly powerful shots. But I want to make sure we're spread out enough that this mech is going to move and then micro-missile. So I'm thinking here is the best place to do that. Maybe even first. Why is she flanked over here? Oh, probably because of this thing on fire. Here's probably a really good place. Oh, also, lots of nice uh, water here I can run through if I get lit on fire. Speaking of fire. Uh, although, if she comes over here, she'll get three shots, including on the guy over there. If he runs... Well... She'll probably get the three shots no matter what. I just want to make sure we're spread out. So, where can Matt go as well? Uh, he can only go here. Which is like... One, two, three, four, five, six. So, probably the right side of that pillar. And if he's there, Cecilia can go one, two, three. Oh, bloody hell. We're going to be all grouped up. Unless I bring her way over here, which I really don't want to do. One, two, three, four, or five. Here? No, that can still get micro-missiled. Plus, she's in a really bad place. I think I'm just going to have to live with the potential micro-missile or have Victor get down there and execute that mech. He does have a chain shot. Can he hit the mech? from any old tile. No, he can't. He actually can't. No matter where he goes, he can't do it. He could only set up a kill zone. All right. Well, if that's the case, then I suppose that's the case. I really wish he could move like another tile or so. But yeah, he's jumping right off that ledge and going as straight as he possibly can get. So it's not really making much difference. All right. Well, we can't get a shot on the whatever this guy is, unless I actually run into the open into this tile there. I'm not quite sure. I, I could do that and suppress the guy on the left. And between that Overwatch shot plus the two over here, we should be okay. But I'm really worried the mech is going to survive here. Oh, can I hack the mech? No. I got three turns on a cooldown on that. Um, I also have an aid protocol, but no, I need to do the Ever Vigilant, I think. All right, well, let's just get... In a place where Matt can shoot everybody. You know what, right here? No, nah, he wouldn't be able to see the mech. Well, he would if the mech moved at all. And if the mech moves at all, he'll be good heater. And then Cecilia can dash up there. And then Victor can stand in the open. Oh, God. No matter what, they just dash. There's no, good, there's no good way to do this. Everybody get out there and be out there. Cecilia, dash. Beautiful. Victor, I think I actually do want you to suppress that guy standing in the open. I think that's actually the smartest idea. He's going to move, I'm pretty sure. And when he does, he's going to take three Overwatch shots. I'm just worried about that mech getting a shot off. Wow, 77 with Victor. No way. So he could probably kill that thing right now if we hit this chain shot. What about our kill zone? Hmm, can't quite hit them both. Huh. I think the... Hmm, what if we miss the chain shot, though? It's like an 81% to hit the first one, 91 to hit the second one. Victor is a champ, but 81% is not like 100, and a suppression would be 100. But that would only hit for one, or hit one time. What's the cooldown on Combat Rush? It used to be like three turns. I don't even know if it has one in this. Uh, so should I suppress for an almost guaranteed hit? Cecilia is a guaranteed hit, I think. Matt, what are your odds? Wish I could see. Well, your odds are to hit, because of course, you know, why would they give me the information I need? I don't know. Seems kind of asinine. 81 plus 10, plus we've also got cool under pressure. And I think we've probably got some kind of aim thing as well. Oh, we have combat rush. Ends in two player turn ends. Oh, great. Plus 10 aim. Okay. Yeah, so we're definitely going to hit all these things. So I'm pretty sure the safest bet then... That's probably why our aim is so high. No, because Victor doesn't have combat rush because he gave it to everybody else. If I take this shot and miss, we're screwed. Uh, if I suppress, we're probably okay. It's probably the smarter move. Let's go for the suppress then. Suppress. Suppress then. I don't even know what I just said. But Anyway, let's move up here probably with Constantine. I doubt there's anything over here. Uh, if he gets spotted there, he's dead. But, you know, I'm pretty sure everything's going to be by the cell at this point. Because we've activated, I think, half the map. Whoa, burn for four over there. Nice job, Saeed. How the hell did that guy burn for four? Must maybe the rupture? Ah, there we go. We're looking at Snake, Great Otacon, Muton Elite Snake. That is a pod and a half. Please do not get reaction shots on the back of Cecilia right now. Please. Please. Okay, Otacon's getting a reaction shot on the drone. Woo, hits for one. Thank you, drone armor. 
Meanwhile, Mech is going to make a move and then a micro missile, and we're screwed. It moves back, and no one gets a shot. How the hell did we not get a shot? I don't know, but there goes my rapid reaction. Okay, Matt's going to get one shot here, but that means this thing's not going to go down unless Victor can pull out something crazy. Ha ha ha! Victor pulls out something crazy. Holy. I think Matt actually hit for 16. And I think Victor hit for 17. Another reaction shot on the snake, apparently, but on my little droney. No, droney ponies in the ground. And that's the turn. Whew. That was a hell of a turn. Okay. Well, I think Victor now can chain shot that mech into the ground. Like, no problem, right? How the hell do I deal with all this stuff is the better question. Muton Elite, no less. Well... Fighter grenade on Muton Elite's head probably makes a ton of sense to me. Otacon, I think Megan's going to have to take that down with an Arc Pulsar, which I do have up. Unfortunately, she is, wouldn't you know, one tile away from being able to get into cover up here. Could go to Saeja's spot. Saeja does indeed have a shot on the Otacon. I don't know what her aim will be on that Otacon, but probably not the best. She can get a hit-and-run shot as well, though. Now, wasn't there another snake? Yeah, right there. Right to the left of this Otacon. Now, actually, actually, Saeja, could you just burninate both of those guys? I don't think so because of the way it's set up. No, we we need a fire bomb to be able to pull. God, the fire bombs are so much more useful. Well, if, okay, how many things <clears throat> are on the map and how many are total? So eleven things so far. There's got to be at least two more, possibly four more things someplace. I do think burning the mutons is the best way to deal with it until I can get over there with either Constantine or Victor to combat it into the ground. That's going to take a little bit of a while. So because I know I need to move Victor in this direction, where can I move him in that direction and still see the mech? Looks like over here is as far as I can get him while still seeing the mech, so I suppose that's going to be the first thing I do. Because no one else can really outright obliterate a mech right now, no problem. So let's go for it. Victor, move on up. And let's be like, yo, there... Oh, wow. 82% again. Eh, whatever. It's a Victor! Please don't miss the first one, Victor. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Second one's like a 92. Nice, Victor. Absolutely obliterate the mechanoid. 9 plus 10. Awesome. Awesome possum, friends. All right, so if Saeed burninates this thing, we hopefully shut down the Otacon. What do I do about the two snakes? Well... Megan could run and gun... Actually, back... Wait, where the hell? Oh, that snake's here. She could run and gun over here. Or here. But, you know, there's still more stuff on the map. So that's kind of dangerous. And if she did run and gun there, then she has to deal with the Otacon. So that's that's not happening. So he Shais burns the Muton Elite. That's taken care of. Matt's just going to Ever Vigilant Dash, I believe. Cecilia also probably Ever Vigilant Dash. Megan shuts down the Otacon. And that's it. That's the whole turn. And so, so there's no real way to deal with the snakes. <laughs> Uh, no way to do it. All right, well, let's move Saeed over here and see if we activate. Take the high cover. Beautiful. Uh, from this location, we will indeed burninate ye old Muton Elite. Buy us a little bit of time over there to get Victor into position. A poof. Nice. Hit for four, end burning. Also, I just remembered the Archon. I can uh, combat as that probably into the ground as well. But, you know, not just yet. Now, I need to make sure we're going to be able to see these guys. I would really love... Oh, Cecilia has Lone Wolf. That's something to consider. She also has Fortify. I think now is probably the best time to use it. Let's pop that Fortify. Where can we go to get the Lone Wolf? Looks like over here. The Snake will be flanked. I won't have the Lone Wolf over here, I doubt. No. Over here, no. I definitely do want to get the Lone Wolf. And it looks like... Can I get it here? No. Over here? No. Uh, here looks like the best place that I can potentially get it. So you know what? Let's go for it. Will do. There we go. Ever vigilant. Now, let's make sure I don't move Matt and Megan into positions where we lose Lone Wolf on Cecilia. I think the smart move here is... I do still have that dodge, but I can't risk the reinforcements. At least not without failsafe. Do I have failsafe? What is this? That's remote hacking. No, I don't have failsafe. I need Megan to shut down that Archon, and I'm pretty sure she can do that from here. In fact, I think here's the only place she can do that. We can always run and gun if we need to. So let's move her up and see if she can see the Archon from there. Yeah, she could, because Saish could see it from before. Now, please tell me. 29%, but Arc Pulsar. It's not that high of an odds, really. Okay, let's take another closer look. She has Combat Rush as well. 
Defense, 35. Dodge, 6. Aim, 75. Stun Gunner, 25. Okay, you get a range bonus for the Stun Gunner, though, don't you? So I could run and gun in really close, but that... Does it risk activating? I doubt it, actually. Well, it might. We might see through that doorway, and also we'll see out here. So, yeah, it does risk activating quite a bit, to be honest. We could also run and gun up here to grab the loot, and then Arctic Pulsar. And then, you know what? We'd even have the high cover right there relative to that snake, which might be a good idea. How far can Matt get up here? Where the heck is Matt? Uh, he actually can only really get to... You know what? I think... I don't know if this is smart or not, because I might want run and gun next turn or something. Especially with the... Well, I can't use it with Hit and Run. Speaking of, I don't have a Hit and Run right now. Well, if I can't use Hit and Run right now, maybe it does make sense to use the Run and Gun now, and then next turn we can move up closer. Okay, I... But here's not going to be that great of an odds, but if I move up here and we activate more, we're screwed. All right, well, let's do this. Let's get Con... Wait, Constantine. Maybe I shouldn't have Constantine be in concealment. If he's right here... Yeah, I think this snake down here is going to have cover... But he can probably suppress them both, actually. What about up here? I can't, uh, let me hit the hunker key and then escape so I can see this stuff. Okay, no vision up there. Interesting. So we can take high cover from here with Lone Wolf. He'd be pretty safe, could suppress both of them. Or, or, I could have him dash in there for no good reason. All right, well, let's bring Constantine over here into the high cover. We can see them both. Why can't we? Oh, you can't area suppress from concealment. Freaking hell. Well, I could shred storm them. <laughs> I could actually iron curtain them, which would be weird. What are my odds to hit? 64 and 56. Those are surprisingly high. Huh. Does Constantine have poison rounds? I think he does, actually. He does. Venom rounds reduce movement and iron curtain reduces movement. God, I must have been really smarted, like... Two months ago when I set this all up. This is brilliant. Huh. Okay. I think I will Iron Curtain here. Should I try to avoid hitting the civilian? I mean, no. Probably not. Let's go for it. Who cares, right? BAM! Why not? I, yeah, I, I couldn't suppress them both. Nice! Hit for 8 and 3. We only grazed that one, but hey, they're both ruptured now as well. It's like a bullet wizard. And they should both be poisoned. I think. So that should reduce their aim, reduce the mobility. Iron Curtain should reduce their mobility. Holy, these guys are getting manhandled. I wonder if the Archon can even get anywhere to do anything. I kind of doubt it, to be honest. At this point. Let's find out. Let's hit the Archon, hit F1. Great Archon, 35 out of 43. It has 14 minus 8 mobility. Oh, Constantine. Wait, why does it not say poisoned? It should say poisoned, right? Red Fog, Iron Curtain... Ruptured. Oh, is poison a chance? I don't think poison applied on either one of them. If it did, oh my god, that would have been awesome. Alright, so I'm still a little bit worried about this thing. It's probably going to go do a Blazing Pinions or something. And I can't figure out what to do with Megan otherwise. Uh, let's just use the running gun now. I'll come up here. I'll take the high cover. That'll get Matt in position to see everything. We'll grab the loot. It's only depth perception. Whatever. We'll go for the 52 with half of 38 on the shutdown on the... Wow, 43 on the snake. But yeah, let's just go for the shutdown on the Great Archon. Looks good to me. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, and then meanwhile, Matt's going to run up here and take a really nice position to be like, yo, ever vigilant. Okay. Well, two, two snakes can do something, but that's it. And if they move, which they might, which they might, I don't know. Actually, they both have cover in every direction. I think they'll just spit shoot. Oh! Oh, no, Constantine! You gotta be kidding me, there were things over there! An officer and a drone! Oh, God, no. And he's exposed. You gotta be kidding me. That's probably everything in the map, though. I doubt there's another pod of two, because we've already seen three pods of two. And I don't think under any circumstance are there ever four pods of two on any map. So I think that's everything on the map. That's good. Uh, meanwhile, Snake Tongue Grab Saeesh, which is actually pretty good, because it only... Hit him for one. This snake's probably going to shoot Saeej. This is... Nope, he's going to spit on Saeej. Okay, poisoned. Now snake's going to take a shot at Saeej. Wah! 20% crit. He crit for four. Well, that sucks. And amazingly, the pod that came up on Constantine didn't get any reaction shots. Now, I also need to think about hacking this guy out of here, because that's very important. Uh, but, all that being said, Victor, what's up with you? How far can you get? 
You can't get close enough to that Dufon to do what we need you to do. Why did Cecilia not get ever vigilant? Because this thing moved and she didn't take a shot. What the hell? We didn't use a free reload. We didn't break through anything. We didn't open anything. Why didn't she get... Why didn't Matt get ever vigilant when that Muton moved? He can see it. Oh, he, maybe he can't see it. No ever vigilant shots? What? He just... They both dashed without doing anything. I don't get it. Uh, hmm. I don't know what to tell you. Well, I could shoot this Dufon, which would make a, a ton of difference, and then also go on Overwatch, but who's going to take down that snake? God, I got to think through a lot of stuff here. Victor no longer has the whatever. He does, however, have a Shred Storm I could potentially use. Uh, Constantine, can you actually just get away from these two guys and we can ignore them because I don't care about them at all? Hold on. Matt, what's your hacking? One more turn. Bloody hell. I would love to control another drone, but maybe next turn we can do that. Can Constantine run up here? Yes, he maybe could, but he wouldn't have cover. Damn it, I was thinking to stabby stabby this thing. But if he runs up there, the officer's going to shoot him and that's going to suck. Well, we could run over here with a dash, though, and put our back to everybody and be next to the snake, which would then try to bind Constantine. Not the worst result in the world, because he has the ability to weather it. And Megan, of course, could also run up here and just shoot, like, two things like crazy. She could even run out here and shoot this snake with a flank twice. Or potentially run out here, shoot this guy, and then shoot this one. No, I think we're better off going for this one twice. Let's just end this snake. And Constantine can get bound by the other snake and we'll be okay. It seems like she's immune to all this stuff, so looks good to me. Let's go for it. She also has Shred, though. Hold on. Let me, I'm holding down right-click because I was so confident I was going to do that, but I didn't realize she had Shred. She'd come up here and double-shoot this thing and take off all its armor so Cecilia could hit it once. Who frees up the snake, then? I'm probably going to use Constantine to Gremlin heal. Or not Constantine, Matt, rather, and then go on Overwatch. Who frees up the snake, then? Nobody. Nobody, nobody snake freer. Nobody frees snake. Uh, Cecilia, no. No, 34 is dumb. It would have to be Megan shooting both of them. And she can't quite, she can only flank that one and get two shots. Huh. Can't quite get a position where I could flank them. If I could get here, that would be ideal. I could flank them both, but I can't. It's too, too low on the range. All right. Well, I guess... So he still has that grenade. He could launch the grenade over there, and these guys, they're ruptured. Although I kind of... Who's going to go do the hacking, actually? Megan could get in there right now. Reinforcements are going to go red pretty soon. We should probably worry about that in a second. Let's just try to... You know what? Maybe I'll have to dash Matt in there. Yeah, if I were to dash Matt, like, right up here, maybe that snake would move, the officer would move. Ever vigilant again? Yeah, because, you know, that works. Unless I don't want to heal Saeed, but I kind of do. But you know what? I also kind of don't because I want him to get in here to be able to hack this next turn if possible. Not even sure if he'll be able to hack it next turn, to be honest. His movement's not that great. He may have to take two turns to get in there, hack, run. It'll take forever. Where the heck's the evac? It's not, not that far away. Okay. So I think if Matt's going to dash, Cecilia's going to have to shoot this Dufon. Victor, what are you going to do? I haven't actually figured that out yet. So Victor has either Suppression, Shredder, or a kill zone. He can't dash into range of anything. It might make sense to area suppress those two with a free reload, move up, area suppress them both. I think so. Probably the best way I can deal with the both of them. Get Constantine over there. Maybe Saish, once he's freed up, can he's gonna maybe grenade that snake or something. I don't know. You know what, Megan, I would actually like it if she shot... No, she can't hit both of them. For God's sakes, who cares anymore? Let's just go. Megan, move around the corner and let's free up Saeed. We got an 80% with an 18. A poof. Anything but a 2. For a second there, I thought we hit the 2. All right, we did, however, hit the 18% graze, which is a little bit super annoying. It's all right, though. Uh, she's still here. We can still do another thing. We've got two flanks. You know what? I may actually let her get bound this time around. And I may move, like, Saeed back here or something. Throw a grenade on all that stuff and try to kill it and have her shoot that snake as well. What's her shots on that snake? 55 with 18. Not fantastic. Not fantastic. We also do have heat with shreds, which I'm better off shooting this thing with that, but... Hmm... 
much damage can Cecilia do here? I'm not sure. Probably not enough. What's Megan shot on the Mutant? Like, zero. Huh. Okay, let's take a look at this Mutant really quick. Ends in one player turn starts, right? No, ends in two alien turn starts. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the Mutant then at all. Well, with that being the case, let us indeed move Saeed, like back here to someplace. He's a little bit wounded, so I want to give him the high cover. Is it clear? Looking good. And then from here, we're going to throw... We're not going to blow up the wall. It's not going to work anyway. Those cells are heavily padded, so... We'll throw out this grenade over here on these ruptured doofuses. I think this is a smart plan. We'll do as much damage as we possibly can. Take this. And hopefully get him low enough. Poof! And for three and nine. Beautiful. Now, Victor... Whoa! Victor should have a very good chance here of killing them with his suppression. He should. We'll move him up as much as we can. Awesome. We'll pop a free reload on him. Awesome. And then we'll go for an area suppression over here. Once again, guys. Awesome. I think that snake may even be flanked to, to Victor. I'm not sure 100%, though. Meanwhile, Cecilia, you know what? You know what we can actually do with her is move her down here. We don't need to be on Overwatch because this guy's going to burn for one more turn. And from this location, she can shoot this heavily uh, armed snake here. And then I could have Megan shoot it again. We may be able to just take it out of the game entirely. That probably makes the most sense. We'll forgo the uh, light em up or whatever it is. Move on down. We're going to take a shot here on this snake. 86% Cecilia with 14 grays. Poof! Hit for 10. Okay, but that's not 100. Well, Megan can finish it off, though. 98%. Boom. Okay, lots of damage on that snake. Way more than we needed there, but it's finally taken care of. Now, this thing's controlled the fire. These two things are controlled with suppression. The Otacon is probably going to not care about that. Move, run the Overwatch and Blazing Pinions is my guess. Could run out of here and just whack Saeed and he's dead. And that would suck. Uh, also, of course, I have Constantine over here standing around. He's got two things I don't want to contend with out there, so I'm thinking about either coming over here and... Sh Ooh, he's actually got a Shredder gun, which he can use against both of those guys, probably killing this thing and wounding that, but who really cares about that, honestly? I don't. I kind of want him... I want Constantine, like, over here to give the Archon something to go, like, melee. So I think the better plan with Constantine is literally just dash over here. So that's what we're going to do. He's in position, and now we have just Matt. So, if I want to actually hack with Matt to get the reward from the, the quest in here, I could hack also with someone else. I don't know. I could uh, also, Saeed's just poisoned right now. He's going to take a little bit of damage from that, and he's wounded. I could heal all that off and get rid of the poison right now, and then go on Overwatch with Matt. But frankly, I think I'm Overwatch. Like, well, I'm going to have Overwatch anyway if I just dash. The question is, do I heal Saeed? Well, if I want to hack this thing and get the reward, I need to move Matt up there. So you know what? That's what we're going to do. We're going to dash Matt up here. He should get ever vigilant this time. He didn't take any single action. And he should at least shoot the Doof on, if nothing else. All right, Mutant Elite still burning. Beautiful. Great Archon's no longer stunned. I hope it doesn't go for Matt. It probably will go for Matt, actually, if it does try to melee. I don't know. We'll see. Here comes the drone. Matt's going to take a shot at that. Boom! Nice shot, Matt. Hit for five, a bit of the old rupture. Drone just full-on rushes in. We can hack that now, I believe. Here comes a shot from the officer we can't see. Hits Constantine through the high cover for four. Snake turns around. It's going to shoot Constantine, I think, standing in the open now because he doesn't have cover. I'm not sure. Meanwhile, Muton's going to make a run for it, and Matt's going to be like, dude, I'm on Overwatch, you doofus. Hit for nine and ruptured again. Beautiful. Nice moves, Dufon. You're showing us how it's done. Thank you for getting close to Victor. Yes, Archon is going for Matt. Oh, God. Oh, God. Victor takes a shot at it and misses. Eight with 15. Oh, right, because he's got lightning reflexes. Matt takes a big walloping on the head for five, but not that bad. Snake just stood there the whole time, amazingly. And Saeed is still poisoned. Could have done better there, I suppose. Well, um, I can't hack from this location. I, could, I would have to dash all the way down here to hack with Matt. And frankly, that's probably what I want to do for next turn. Uh, that being said, how do I deal with everything right now that's in my face? Well, I do also have the ability to, to control that drone with Matt. If I were to move, like, let's say... He, well, how many tiles away am I from hacking? Like, one, one, two, three movement points away from being at the corner of this door when I can see around the corner and open it there. So I could, in theory, one, two, three. As long as I'm, like, here, I could next turn move over here and hack that. Uh, 
Okay, so I think what's going to happen here is Victor comes over here to lock down the Muton from this location. He can also shoot some guys from that location. We may want to move him over there now. Constantine could move over where Matt is and lock the Archon down with his combatives. Giving us a snake and a drone. I wouldn't mind controlling that drone. I actually really do think that's a smart idea. So, although I'm, Saeed is just getting poisoned here like all, all day long. But what are you going to do, right? Let's move Matt close enough so he has cover, but he can also see the drone. This will okay, give the officer go. something to shoot at. Looking good. We should have 100% on this drone. It says 100%. Let's see what the variance is, though. Oh, whatever. It's Matt! Woo. Okay. Okay, we're just taking drones all day. Now, that's the end of Matt's turn. I do believe that Constantine is going to come over here, probably. We're not going to shoot that officer. This will probably lock down the Archon in Combative's melee hell. And then from that location, we can be like, Yo, Snake, 91%. Get the hell out of town, friend. God, are we sick of dealing with you? Okay. Well, everything's mostly dealt with now, for the most parts. Megan does have a med kit. She can go heal Saij. She also has hit and run, which... Where the heck is this officer? Yeah, we're not hitting and running that officer, that's for sure. So, should I move her over here with Saij and heal? Should I move Saij over here next to her, have her heal him, and then have him shoot and everybody shoot? Probably makes sense. Let's do that. Uh, Saij, move on back. A Beautiful. Take a random shot. Hit her before we do, though. Why don't we lay up some damage on it? Actually, actually, if there's reinforcements, I probably want to be on Overwatch with Cecilia. I don't know where I'd want to be on Overwatch, though. Here's probably as good a place as any. Let's take this 37 with 42 grace on the light -em up Apply some locked on. Hit for six. Get some rupture. I think I'm just going to go on a two-shot Ever Vigilant here. I think that makes the most sense. I don't care about the, the health that thing has. Uh, meanwhile, Victor, we did say we're going to move you up here to combat as this doofus into the ground. Fantastic. And we got a 31 over here. Interesting. Well, it's also a 33 on Grays. You know what? Let's go for it, Victor. Show us how it's done. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hit for 14. God, Victor, you're the best. Now, let's have Megan... Wait, does she have two movement? Yes, she does. Let's have Megan pop her nano metal kit here on Saij, healing him to full and getting rid of that stupid poison. A poof. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, back to Saij for a moment here. Now we've got a 36 with a 42. Lots of, lots of rupture. Oh my god, Saeed! Hit for 13. <laughs> He's just like, whatever. Stop talking. Um, and then I guess Megan will just overwatch, apparently. There we go. All right, let's see what we got for reinforcements here. Muton burns for a final three, which is fantastic. They spawn over here. Sectoid commander and an M2 mech. Not bad. You can probably handle that. Okay, we're going to have an overwatch there. Officer's going to run down and be like, yo, I'm still an officer. Probably is going to... He's going to shoot really at Matt? Oh, no, he marked Matt. Thank God. Had he shot, we might have had enough red fog that we couldn't get in there and hack. Meanwhile, Muton's like, personal shield! Stabby, stabby! Victor's like, come on, you stupid doofus. Get that shield out of here. Also, I'll scratch you on top because that's what I do, I guess. This, that's how I talk also. Now... We're going to have to come in here with Matt for sure. We're going to have to hack this. Like, no questions asked. No Overwatch is pulled. Okay. Get in there, Matt. Also, you get that uh, holo targeting on you, you, and that sucks. For a second there, I thought that wasn't going to work, but it was just the civilian had to run away. Watch list 100, really? Doesn't that give me two, into two rebels? Now, here's the thing about this, right? No, region cost. Um, that's actually a lot more intel than a minor cache of intel. Here we go! Oof! God, Matt, why always keep the suspense low? You can't roll over a 20, it seems. But, you know, I've gotten him to the... God, thank the heavens I, I fixed that hacking, uh, that red fog thing. Because he probably would have failed all three of these things had I not done that. Kira Smirnova. All right, welcome to potentially the squad. Uh, we'll dash you way the heck out there. Looking good to me. Meanwhile, what are we going to do over here? Well, Megan has lightning reflexes, lest we forget. Could run up here, pull the lightning reflexes. Oh, wait, no. Actually, I couldn't. Uh, hmm. Where can I go? Okay. Can I come, like, here? 
and then here and then pull the yeah pull it from there still have the high cover and still have the shot on the on the mech that seems like the most logical thing any hit and runs on her no no chance unless i can blow this cover down which honestly i might be able to yes i could over here with a shredder gun huh that could be interesting all right we're gonna have to think this through a little bit because even though victor can lock this guy down to do so he's got to be exposed so does he have chain shot again bloody hell one turn away and he can't do a stabby stabby because this thing can counter attack. We could suppress either one of these though, and he could deal with both of them. Like suppress the sectoid commander. Or we could just do, oh, no, I guess we can't do that. Can I shoot over there and do something weird? No. Can I do this? Mm, sort of. How about my drone? What's the range of the drone with the shutdown? Far enough that I'm thinking we just, oh, actually. I don't want the drone to run the overwatch, or maybe I do. How long do I have control of this drone? Hack for three more turn starts, all right? I could run over here and just have the drone shut down the officer, or at least attempt to, and if not, distract the officer. That seems logical to me. Saish probably is going to have to run up here and take an elevated shot on something. Maybe the sectoid commander. Constantine, honestly, from where he is, is, like, not doing anything right here. Ooh, he could potentially move up here. Actually, could he shred stone right now through the wall? Yes, he could actually take all this stuff down from this tile and then have cover against everything else. I like that a lot. I don't know if this is going to work. I mean, it does seem like it's going to work because I can shoot right through that wall, right? Like right through the wall. So I should be able to move up here and shoot through the wall. <laughs> yeah, famous last words. All right, Constantine, move on up and let's shred right through this wall. Wow, it does work, actually. All right, we're going to hit the mech. We're going to hit the sectoid commander and we're also going to hit the cover the sectoid commander is behind and hopefully all obliterates. Poof. Okay, no. We hit for six, shred two, hit for eight. No cover destruction, though. Okay, extremely unfortunate, I will say. On that front. Any more cover destruction here? Just just Victor, I think. We got shield wall on Megan. We got the hit and run. No more cover destruction over here. Drone's gonna go stun that. Doofus, you know what? Let's have the drone go do that to see what actually happens with it. And in fact, let's put the drone in such a way that the mech can see the drone as well. You know, you never know. Might be might be necessary down the road. And let's be like, yo, stun a gun. 75% with half of 13. What's that, like 81? Woo! See you later, officer. You're on the ground. The officer is down, some might say. Now, this is interesting with Victor because I have a single target. Hmm. What if I were to move around the corner here? Would it be possible? I could still combatives the muton but would it be possible from this tile here to shred storm that mech and this i highly doubt it plus he'd then be exposed to probably the officer inside so i'm thinking as kind of ridiculous as this is the smartest move might just be uh, actually no the sector commander well he's got a flank shot though i was gonna say he's gonna do the mass resurrect but he's got a flank shot so he may take that over anything else Hmm. Who's going to kill this mech? Well, Megan can always use the arc pulser on it. God, I really want her to go hit and run on that stupid sectoid commander, though. She can't get elevation. Oh, she can actually from right here. She'd only be like one, two, three, three more tiles away. So from here, she could hit and run that one. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Victor, toss a single shred storm thing over here on that sectoid commander and on his cover. Just stand in the open. Who cares? Bloody hell, that thing's cover. It's just a lamppost, fucking sakes. Why is it still alive? All right, well. I think I want Megan to shoot the mech. Saij, I want to come up here and shoot the mech as well. Let's get him up there right now. See what he can do. If possible, I'd like to save Megan's stun gunner just in case we need it for something. 77% on the mech here with Saij with 20 grays. That's beautiful. 97%. Hit and another rupture. Great, he's down to two. So I'm thinking Megan can guarantee a kill over here. But the question is, what do we do about Cecilia? I think we're just going to dash Ever Vigilant right here so we have vision on everything in the entire universe. Rolling Hopefully out. she'll finally get to use Ever Vigilant or any Overwatch shots for that matter. And lastly, I think we'll move Megan down Let's here do as close as possible to the Sectoid Commander to move in for hit and run next turn. But for right now, I think we're just going to go for the Arc Pulse here because that's a guaranteed 100%. Fire. See you later, Mech. No missiles in our face. Boom. 
Yep, hit for seven, and there we go. All right, Sector Commander does do his mass resurrect. Uh, which probably isn't even going to resurrect anything. Yep, it sure doesn't. This guy's still going to try to take down Victor. Oh, God, right the eyeball. Hit for eight on a crit with Victor. And the officer is actually on the ground still. Okay, now Matt actually has to run pretty pretty hard. So we're just going to dash him like probably the rest of this game. Meanwhile... Megan can't get... Oh, she could run and gun over there, though, to take that guy down. Probably my best bet, because I don't think anyone else can take care of it. Let's do it. No She'll come place. flying around the corner and be like, Yo, a sectoid commander, I command you to get in the ground! Holy bananas, that was fast. Critically hit as well? All right, sure, why not? I don't see any reason not to just always overkill everything all the time. You know what, Saeed? I think I'm going to give you a little bit of a kill, because it sounds like you could deserve it. And you... Oh, yep, pop a free reload. Let's swing you back here. Actually, I'm a little bit worried that officer's going to stand up. Will he stand up? I can't remember. I stunned him last turn, so I don't think he will. Let's guarantee, though, by swinging over here to our little droney wony and being like, yo, drone shock, F1, swing down, stunned, two actions remaining. Okay, well, in that case, let's just go for a drone shock, because why not? Pew! He's manhandling the ad, or I guess technically drone handling the admin. Wow, critical hit 18%. Craziness. Crazy McBasey. Well, with that being the case, Saeed, 65 but 12 grays, Muton Elite. See you later. Oh. Yep. Oh, nice. Promotion. And now we're talking about running back here with Cecilia. No overwatches once again. We'll swing back here with Victor. Uh, Constantine got a little bit of a red fog. We'll pull him back. We'll overwatch back here with Victor. That's fine. Uh, and then Kira Sminernova will dash you down there. You're out next turn. Guaranteed 100%. Officer can't get up. Drone is still hacked for at least one more turn. Reinforcement should be going red, though, right now, is my guess. What happened over here? The Hunter drone is still hacked. Yeah, the reinforcements did go red. Matt can get out next turn, but not right now. We'll dash him down. Uh, we'll get Cecilia over here as well. We will get probably Victor right here to go on Overwatch. Megan, pop a free reload. Why not? Dash over here like a maniac. Let's see, Cecilia, why don't you just pop a free reload, because we're not going to use it, then go on Overwatch, just in case. Meanwhile, Victor, Overwatch, beautiful. Is that the whole turn? No, I still have Constantine. All right, let's move Constantine right here, next to the car. He's a little bit wounded. He could use an Overwatch. And Saish, you're going to have to get over... Wow, he can move like the wind, huh? And then Kira, Kira Smirnova, you're out of here. Liberation 2 is a complete... Evac. VIP secure and in position for evac. Okay, and then all I have left is my little drone. Let's, let's swing the drone around to the other side here so as to, like, waste time and get nowhere. And then again, 46% drone! Go for it! Oh, he missed. All right, well, there, I'm going to lose control of both of those guys this turn, but you know what? Who cares? All right, that's it. And done. Come get some. Oh, wait. I can hack that thing. Disorient removed. Great Archon shows up with an M2 mech. Oh, Matt takes a swing, but that thing's got lightning reflexes, so... All right. You know what, though? Who cares? Actually, everyone missed. <laughs> Maybe Victor didn't. Oh, no, Victor didn't miss. I think everyone else missed, though. No, yes. I don't know what the hell showed up on the screen right there. Anyone? I guess something else got hit for eight. I don't know how that happened or who did it. Wow. Yeah, lightning reflex is fun. Oh, Sentry got hit for eight by somebody. And then meanwhile, the officer's like, Oh my god, it's a drone! Run and shoot it! Bloody hell, I was hoping he would hit, because right now I'm going to lose control of that drone. Yep. Oh, well. Now, for good measure here, let me think about the following things. Matt, can you hack that thing and then get out of here? Yes. Also, Skull Mine. I forgot about the Skull Mine. I don't want to do it right now, though. This is not really the place to be doing it. Great Archon on the map. M2 mech, stuff over there. Uh, we're a little bit wounded. There's probably better places I could do it. I do want to run the Overwatch, though, but Megan can take care of that, just to make sure that we're going to get it taken care of. Let's have Megan run out here and be like, yo, I'm going to pull that Dumble 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 Dumble. Swing over here as well. See you later. Yep, beautiful. Now, let's grab Matt over here and be like, yo, I remember this thing. It's a thing. We'll go for that small supply cache at 100%, because we can. Sure, we'll take free supplies. I see not why. Yeah, now he rolls like a 99%. Sure, Matt. Sure thing. 
I'm in. Okay, and I guess there's no point in staying here. Oh, we actually, technically, I can get two kills worth of experience. Thinking about it. Um, to do that, though, we'd have to somehow kill an Archon. I suppose. Why not? 58% Cecilia, go for it. Beautiful. Right for five with the Greys. You can do it again, though. 58 with 30. Very reliable with the hits, but double Grazes is the thing. Mm. All right, Saeed, I think you're up here. Can you take this thing down? 27 with 24. I doubt this is going to work out the way I want it to. Oh, he hit. 13, actually. God, Saeed. Just punching holes through, guys. Megan's got an 18 with a 21. Sure, why not? It's more than zero. God, even she. Yes! Free kill experience. That was worth watching the animations. Although now I kind of regret not giving it to Victor. Oh, Victor could shoot over there, but what about from this tile? Probably not. And then lastly, we got Constantine, who I think Saish has no shot. Yeah, let's get everybody out of here. When I move Constantine one tile, you won't have a shot anymore. And Awisa. Oh, that's the wrong button. Out, as they say. Operation Zap Orifice is complete. Oh, stretch. Very much stretch. Okay, who took wounds there? I can't remember. So I know Saish because he got burned and grabbed by the snake. Um, Constantine, I think, got shot from the high cover officer for like 10 damage or something. And even though we couldn't even see him. And I don't remember who else took a wound. Uh, regardless, though, Liberation 2 wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad for a, a light liberation. Lots of freaking enemies on the map, but God, we just controlled everything. Control a Muton Elite, control an Arc. Actually, we just killed the, the first Archon. We didn't even need to control it. I was set up to control it. Control two drones. Uh, we just killed the last reinforcement Archon for no reason. And we didn't get any Ever Vigilance that one turn, though. It was really weird with Matt and Cecilia. Why didn't we get... Did they not go on Ever... Well, they should have gone on Ever Vigilant. I don't understand. Uh, whatever. Who cares? Anyway, it's all done. We win. And now we go do something else. Key All-Star MVP player. Let's see. Let's start out with who it's not. It's definitely not... I don't think it's Constantine. Going from left to right. Uh, the reason it's not Constantine is because all he did was sneak around trying to find stuff, didn't find anything, and then got himself shot in the back for his efforts. He also didn't apply poison at all to the two things he hit with, like, the one shot that he took. So, he also failed to blow up the cover that that sectoid commander was behind. Victor, he murdered the mech, suppressed the other guys, but they didn't take a move. He didn't get to do many Overwatch shots. He did lock down a Muton, but that's, you know, nothing, nothing special. Matt actually hit every successful hacking attempt. Of course, they were all 100% anyway, so, like, congratulations. I mean, but even then, hitting four successful 100% hacking attempts is one hell of an accomplishment for someone on my squad. Normally, like, at least one of those would bug out, crash the game, and delete my entire computer, and then set it on fire. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe he deserves it, possibly, even though he didn't take any shots or, like, do anything or use any abilities. Cecilia, I don't even remember going on Ever Vigilant. It's like the skill didn't even work uh, at any point in time. Megan was pretty aggressive there. She did shut down the Archon and then kind of healed somebody and then shot a little bit. I think it's actually Saish, all things considered. He fired two fire grenades, both of which uh, were very pivotal and locked guys down with fire. He... When did he use his Shred Storm? I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. He also used the plasma grenade to weaken those other doofuses. Not that that mattered too much. He got poisoned. He ran around. He killed a great Archon for no reason. Hit the other Archon for nine. He just generally felt like he did pretty good. I mean, all around, everyone... How the hell did I even win that mission? It seemed like no one did anything the whole mission. I guess Saeed did something. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Uh, Matt. Ooh. What the hell is Matt doing now? I don't even remember. Oh, ever vi uh, not ever vigilant. Um, Overwatch. So threat assessment, of course. Of course. Of course, he course. Meanwhile, Cecilia. Oh boy, fun times and fun time town, friends. Kill zone is so tempting sometimes, but you know what? It just. It, I don't know. If you already have rapid reaction, do you really need kill zone? And combat fitness helps rapid reaction to work, and the extra mobility. 
vacational flank or what what have you and the extra like ability to survive because she only has four aim she has been almost dying this whole game so combat fitness although i just feel like kill zone that one time you use it and you just empty your entire gun it just it's just insane but regardless we'll go for uh combat fitness I'm pretty sure I remember episode, was it 37? I think my favorite episode maybe like ever. That, that one was crazy. She almost died in that one. I remember we carried her out and it was lucky she bled out. Meanwhile, Saeed, advanced speed, mobility 18. This guy is a freaking menace to society. An absolute menace. Crits are pretty awesome. Uh, He's not, yeah, he's not, unfortunately, he's not really going. That's weird. He's got 84 aim and advanced speed. I really want to take Chain Shot and like channel Inner Book of Eons, but Center Mass would have made such a better choice for that had I not taken Heavy Ordnance, but you know what? I did. So because I did that, I think we're going to go all on like, uh, then I, again, I didn't go Boosted Cores. So I guess I could go a little bit of a hybrid. One additional damage plus the additional three from Biggest Booms. Hmm. Well, then again, so he's just kind of like a really weird guy. He just runs around doing weird stuff. I don't know. I really don't know. He did hit pretty hard there, though. And those occasional times he could get a flank on somebody and shoot them twice for a ton of damage. How often does he actually need to critically hit? Your grenades and standard rockets can inflict 50% for plus 3, though. Think of how much damage that is. Does not apply to non-damaging grenades or the concussion rocket or bunker buster abilities. Grenades, standard rockets, and mech micro missiles. That is so much damage. Grenade crits will grant plus one damage to ongoing damage effects such as fire. Yeah, I think we're going to go biggest booms on him, even though chain shot sounds so much fun. Mm, then again, when do I ever... I mean, the fire is only there to do firing. You know, it's, it's for control. It's not really for damage. And he, he does have the mobility of the gods. So... He also has sapper and heat. Should probably give him more grenades, honestly, and drop this weird fantasy I have about having grenadiers run around with insane mobility, flanking people, shooting them with precision shot or chain shot. Hmm. 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 Biggest booms! I'm gonna go. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I don't have any grenadiers who have actually gone uh, gr grenading for a long time. Anyway, we got 35 supplies, we got a depth perception as well, and we have a new engineer. Seems to be assigned nowhere right now. I guess we can put them over here in the whatever this is. Great, we got more contacts now. Uh, if we wanted to use those in the future, don't need them right now. I'm pretty sure you guys are all it's set up here. Philippe, yep, you're in. Uh, also was the felts in there as well. We got four hours for the Shredstorm cannon. And then I think it's actually time, finally, at long last, for us to hit up the facility. There we go. Shredstorm Cannon. Never even seen that before. More aggressive variant of the Shredder Gun. We need to build individuals of those. I honestly don't even know. What is it? Is it under items? Shredstorm? Mm, no. Weapons? Leonardium phase cannon, that looks pretty cool. Shred storm cannon. Yes, you do have to holy bananas. They're 80 supplies each, four alloys, ten alliterium, and one alliterium core. Wow. Okay, but I think they're like ridiculously overpowered, so who really cares, right? We just need a lot more of all of those things, is the thing. So Philippe and um the felt, seven hours, seven hours, data decryption in seven hours. I think we'll just wait the seven hours then. I kind of want to go hit the market up really quick and just see, like, can I buy more resources? Can I sell stuff? I don't know. I don't know where I'm at with the market. market is open. Oh, wait. Let me go check buy first. Uh, Michael Corpin's here. Wait, Anthony's here. Yeah, I already bought all the stuff. I could probably sell some things, like... But I don't remember what or how much of everything I need. Blue Scream, sure. We'll sell, like, a bunch of a bunch of random stuff that just happened. Like, do we need 15 Death Perceptions? Advanced Agility, Conditioning, definitely don't need Focus. 7 Aim, Advanced Psy, we don't need that. Don't need Agility. I'm not going to use any more Body Shields, I don't think. 10 Muton Elites. Oh, they're right. I don't get that for free for some reason. 
Seven mutons. What do these give me? Tack vests? Don't want those, really. We'll sell those down to, like, two. Six suppressors. Those actually aren't a bad thing to have, to be honest. Six vipers? I know I don't want very many of those. And again, they give you better med kits. I might need a few of them. Who knows? Um, in any event, you know, not even looking at it too closely. Oh, laser sight. Basic ones. Laser sten gun? Why the hell do I have that? Where did I even get two laser sten guns? I have a mine shield? Okay. I'll sell the laser sight. Hollow targeter mark two? Doubt I'm going to need that. Helix rail cannon? We're never going to need that. We only have the one Johnny Five, and he's got his new new upgraded shooter. Two hair triggers? Nah. All right, this looks good. I think I'll just sell all that stuff as it is. Two thirty-nine. A little bit of free money. Great. We'll hit up West Asia for seven hours. For sector fifteen, West Asia. Or eight hours now, because you know, flying over to the black market and back increased our training time by one hour. <laughs> oh. Oh. Defend Resistance Supply Convoy. Eastern Europe. Danny Hamilton's recovered from wounds. You know what, guys? I'm pretty sure this Strength 8 Eastern Europe... Why do I even have four guys on supply? I don't know. None of them have any skill. That's a very difficult mission. What do you mean unknown baseline activity? Is that the one where they reinforce? I think these are super, super, super hard, if I remember correctly. Like, they shouldn't be. The reinforcements are out of control. It could be a troop training operation, but in the Strength 8 region, I will pass. I think I'm just going to let that one go and let Eastern Europe burn. At this point in time, it makes sense. We don't even have a liaison in there either for who knows what reason. Uh, Philippe got Lone Wolf. Behold my manly noises! Yes! I've always wanted flesh and a gunner, and it's on Philippe! 20 mobility flesh with Lone Wolf! Oh my god! It's gonna be amazing! But it's not gonna be for some whiles, and a ghost walker on the felts who then unlocked cool under pressure. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know if I'd ever use that, but whatever. Not that bad. Also, data cache uh, for 32 intel. Let's assign new research. I want to look-see around here. So... Muton Elite Autopsy in three days. I honestly should do that. Well, my intel's only 51. I feel like I need to expand a little bit, though. Let's go for a, another data cache. Wow. Wowzer McPowser. And then I saw Danny came back in. Who are we waiting on? N nobody, unless we want to wait for Drigri. And I don't think we really need to. Who's going to be our officer? Yuri. Yeah, we can do a full-on Master Sergeant role, basically. Unless I want to wait more days, and I really don't. All right. The time has finally come, friends. Finally come. We are going to go to the great land. Why do I have five people hot ants a lot? We're going to go to the great land of New Brazil, which is apparently down to five strength somehow. Eastern U.S. is 100 intel. And, oh, what's this? New, new thing just popped up here. Egypt, 5 days, 11 hours, extract, engineer. Free an important prisoner. Is that liberation too? Or no? I think that's just like a generic, just here's a mission. Uh, new Chile is going to be actually only 67 intel. No, well, if I, ex if I built a radio here in New Brazil, that's what it would be. But I think that's, what. how much is that? 650, that's a lot of supplies, but in 11 days I get 2,000, so 67 is not bad. Especially since I have to go there eventually, but anyways, let's go gear up this facility. Now, I don't know what the heck to expect here. I've literally only ever done these with like super full-on uh, stealth missions corridor. with like two people, so I think I'll probably have to end up fighting, I'm going to guess, four sector pods. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. And here's the squad. And good lord, is this one quite the doozy. We got Vingtonier here to do full-on Ghostwalker sneaks if we have to with some scanners. Zawadi and Faraday tag team combo in town. Cecilia here to probably fail to overwatch at any point in time, but you know what? Who cares? She's here. Uh, meanwhile, we got Yuri, of course, leading up the squad with all manner of perks, like more things than I can even count. 
Josh Ross is here. Danny is here for all manner of close combat fights. We're not going to need this red screen round, though, I notice as I look at him. So I'm thinking, why not give him something a little bit uh, better than that? You know what I'd love to give him is a needle round. Do I have any needle rounds? I sure don't. Let's go make him one. We also have Philippe here. And I think that was it. Needle rounds. Yeah, build another one of those. Those aren't that expensive. Needle round for Danny. Beautiful. He'll hit like an unbelievable truck right now. Now, a few things I want to do. Number one, I feel like Philippe is the coolest character in the history of all kinds of cool characters. We want to build Philippe a little bit better armor. No more Predator. No more Predator for poor Philippe here. We're going to keep Philippe alive, and we're going to do that by building him a war suit. Bam! How many of the uh, Elyridium crystals do I still have? Honestly, I have no idea. Can I go to build? Can I look at my inventory without leaving the screen? I don't think so. Uh, either way, Philippe, welcome to freaking the future, friend. Welcome to the future. Meanwhile, who cares about shredder guns when you got shredstorm cannons? So the difference here is... Philippe, get out of the way. Just move your gun. Yeah, I know. You want to show me a shiny new gun. So we're looking at 4 to 9 damage versus 7 to 12. That's quite a big upgrade. Range is 25, 25. Radius is 12, 12. Doesn't look all that much better to me. Uh, I don't think these are accurate, though. And the clip size is one. But I think the cover destruction is, like, guaranteed, though. So, anyway, Shredstorm. Oof. Ooh. That's a weird-sounding noise I've never heard before. God, he looks good. He looks good! He looks good. By the way, guys, uh, had Long War of the Chosen got made, one of the things I was going to do was allocate a couple hundred dollars or whatever it was to modeling a new Vibral Blade, a Tier 3, just for fleshy McDeshi Philippe. It would have been amazing. Absolutely. Can you imagine right now? Can you imagine if 2K had decided to buy Long War of the Chosen and I had bought that thing uh, and then we'd be sitting here looking at a tier 3 Vibral Blade with some kind of shiny effect or something? Oh god, it just would have been, it would have been ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But alas, it was not meant to be. Uh, that being the case, let's swing over here and go for Armor Yield Water Suit. How much are these... Where the hell are they? Uh, Shredstorm Cannons. They're quite a bit. I'm gonna build one, another one of those there. Let's give one to say Danny's always finding himself in a tough time town. So we'll give him a Water Suit. Fantastic. We'll give him a Shredstorm. God. God, he's gonna be good. I'm thinking of giving one to Josh Ross as well. Uh, you know what? Vinktonir, we kind of want to keep him alive. So let's give him the Warden Armor. Fantastic. A little bit more uh, survivability over there. And then... Do I want to build one for Josh Ross or no? I mean, Josh Ross only has like 10 billion abilities. Why don't we give him at least 10 billion and one? So we will indeed build him a water suit and we're out of money. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. I can't even do it. All right, never mind. Uh, one quick thing I want to do though, let's just take a look at everybody's like PCSs and like weapon mods and stuff because it has been like forever and 25 hours since I figured this stuff out. Elite hair trigger, elite auto loader, advanced suppressor, advanced expanded magazine. Looks like we don't have any better ones. We do have an elite scope, elite stock. We have an elite scope. Are we sure that Zawadi has it? He's got an elite stock. No scope at all. Really? I don't think we need an elite... Wait, Zawadi doesn't have a scope. Oh, he has an advanced scope. Never mind. All right, let's give him the elite scope, I think. Uh, and then what about Fatterday? What does he have? Doesn't look like... He has a scope. Yeah, elite scope, elite stock, advanced auto loader. Yeah, he really needs that for the, the chains. The epic chains of chainery. Chainery town. We got an elite scope on Philippe. Fantastic. Advanced auto load. I don't think we need these suppressors. I think I was using those for something else. Uh, advanced expanded magazine. Probably a better idea for Philippe. He chews through that ammo like a madman. Danny over here. Elite laser sight for the crits. Although he, he does actually end up taking a lot of shots. I'm not sure if he really needs the crit. He does not crit spec. It might be better off uh, for him going for the advanced scope, to be honest. Advanced auto loader is fine. Expanded magazine is fine for a scram gun. Meanwhile, Josh Ross probably already has the Elite Scope, Auto Loader, Magazine. Yep, beautiful. Uh, Yuri, I don't really care what he has. Scope, Basic Scope, Expanded Magazine. He hasn't been upgraded in hundreds of years. But when does he ever shoot, right? Like, not very. He's busy shooting rockets all day long. All a day long. And then over here, we're good. All right, now, PCS is really quick. Vinktonir, probably very high chance of death, so emergency life support looks good. Death from above, or depth perception, rather, makes perfect sense. Uh, over here on Sicilia, advanced perception with an 8 aim. Well, that's probably as good as we can get. We do have depth perception, but she can't always use it. We have a 7 aim perception. That's worse. Meanwhile, Yuri, what the heck is this? Dodge? 8 dodge agility. That is terrible. For a Master Sergeant Best Officer in the entire colony, 
colony? What am I playing? Rim Mortals? Uh, anyway, yeah, eight, eight, eight agility. I think he can stand to upgrade a little bit. The question is what? Uh, he doesn't need hyper epic pupils. Combat awareness is kind of lame. All these are just like tier one stuff. I want to give him something advanced or superior. I guess conditioning or agility. How many? He only has seven health. Yeah, that is nowhere near enough. Let's give him, uh, I suppose, advanced conditioning. Yeah, there we go. And he's, he's up to 19 hit points. Or maybe it was 17? Yeah, 17 now. Much better. Josh Ross still has two mobility, really. Well, I don't have any better mobility as the thing for him, so he'll have to stick with that for now. Danny also looking at dodge. Eight, eight dodge, really, Danny? Uh, you can do better than that. Let's give you 15 dodge, if nothing else. Fantastic. Uh, meanwhile, Philippe over here still has two mobility. I need some PCS speeds, guys. What the heck? Like, this is insane. Absolutely insane. I do love the mobility, though. I absolutely love the mobility. I don't want to trade it off for seven aim. Most people would. I wouldn't. Uh, and then Faraday has depth perception. All right. This is going to take 12 days, 12 hours to infiltrate this squad. But quite frankly, I could do nothing for the rest of this campaign but infiltrate this and go to the black site and win. So... Seems fine to me. This may be overkill. I've never sent seven master sergeants with, like, super officer with war suits and shred beam cannon boom thingies. But hey, uh, you know what? I don't know what I'm going to be fighting. Probably a lot of guys. It's going to be a hellzor of a battle. Let's roll. Sky Ranger deployed. Basically, any other mission comes up, I can't do it. But, yeah, who cares? Let's hit the black market again since I'm short on supplies. I would like some more war suits and shred storms. I know I get more in 12 days when the... Whatever comes up, but I can probably... I can probably sell some more things here. Especially since I'm not even using the majority of these things. Let's go a little bit slower through it this time, shall we? Shield betters are only used for stasis vests. Don't care at all. We'll just sell those. Stun lancers, those are only used for the arc blades. Sell them all. Troopers, really, I have 21, and I think we've made all the ablative we need from them. I could get some alloys, though, so I'll sell down to five. Uh, Andromedons, aren't those supposed to be the hollow targeters? Yeah. I've already got most of those that I need. I might need one more, I'm not sure, but they're not used for anything. Oh, you know what? You actually get a core out of those. A lyrium core and some crystals, so I'll probably keep them just in case. Arc blades we don't even use anymore, we'll sell those off. Archon corpses, interestingly enough, we're not even, well, still used for fusion and acid. I'll hold on to those. Eight berserker corpses. Those are used for those, um, Hellweave Fest. No, they're used for something else, too. They're used for the, uh, the Sanarums, aren't they? Or did they take that requirement off at some point? I can't remember, honestly. I'll leave them there, even though there could be quite a bit of money. Chrysalids we can use for the upgraded thing whenever we get around to it. The chitin plating, as they say. The Shet Rounds. Coil Rifles. Yeah, I suppose I'll hold on to those. Nine Illyrium Cores is all I have left. That is very sad. Three Faces, three Gatekeepers. Ten Muton Elites. Then we got all this kind of random stuff. We're not going to need this much Death Perception. I thought I sold this Focus already. I guess not. We're not going to need Hyperreactive Pupils. Five Aim is kind of like, meh. I'll sell it, sell it. Predator Armors, I don't know. A six sectopod rex? Is that really a thing? You can make all manner of gremlins and proximity mines. I can't remember how those things work at this point. And good enough. Good enough. We'll sell zero more vipers. All right, $200 in West Asia. Scan. Intel's at 51. I'm pretty sure I got nothing else going on the map right now. And it's going to be a, quite a while then. Yeah, because literally nothing else is coming up. If something else does come... Oh, you know what else I haven't done? Since uh, Philippe got trained. Is this fun time stuff? Volatile mix clutch shot. Once permission fire a pistol shot that cannot miss. Hmm. Doesn't work, though. It doesn't really work, though, with AMF, as someone, as I, someone had asked. Victor, bombardier, gunslinger, deep cover. Victor could, like, dash places and then hunker, but who cares, really? It's not the most useful thing. Razor. Can you hit this button down here? Ooh, Razor has locked on. But when would he ever use that? Well, he does. He will eventually have hit and run if he doesn't already. I think he probably does, to be honest. Damn good ground would be good for him as well. Let's let's throw him in. Uh, Megan, anything that she... Ooh, evasive. Yes, looks good. 
And then over here, I think we're already still training Alma for three more days. Anyone else want to go in for a little bit? Yeah, Cather can go in. Sure. Why not uh, Collector? Bam. A little bit more intel because we are kind of short on the intel and a Scanny McFlanny. Whoa, because of an advent raid, resistance measures cannot be applied. Supply jobs, Eastern Europe, blah, blah, blah. Drigri no longer wounded. Mexico, three day smash and grab light pass. New target. Egypt, three day, light moderate, yow pass. Lots of intel there, but light moderate, no. Egypt, zero hours, hacker workstation. Yeah, let's go do that one, guys. All right, what do we got over here? Three days, troop, co a very light troop column. I could boost that to four and a half days. Go! How did, whoa, Johnny five. Doom, 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 doom. God, is he mad. Why the hell was he all the way back there doing nothing though? It's like dramatic effect to the extreme. It's like, all right, Johnny five, we're gonna put you in the dumbest place possible. When we say so, we want you to look directly at us menacingly and stomp really loud. Uh, I guess that's, you know, kind of what he wanted to do, but... Anywho, what do we got here if I wanted to do this? I could send myself, I could send Grind, I could send Johnny5, I could pull Catherick out of the tube, send her for the, the training. We could send in, like, Victor, we could send in, possibly, also, Drigri. Are we gonna hit the 100%? No, we're down to 90, actually. It is only very light. Um... Could I... I don't think I could really push this any higher. Plus, I'm going to use Intel to get this done. I do want to do this troop column badly, though. Alright. Uh, I think grind, you're out. And now we can hit 112. That's such a weird number to be at. I don't have an officer for cohesion, though, unless I wanted to pull Catherick in with the troop training, which would guarantee Johnny Five a promotion, but with four people on this mission, I'll probably get one anyway. I mean, not a big deal. I don't think... Victor's got this thing here, but you know what else he could get? Warsuit Shredder Gun. Uh, let's come over here and be like, yo, how about that thing we like to call a Shredstorm Cannon? Bam. We get Shredder Gun when you can get Shredstorm Cannon. Oh, wait, can you give one to Johnny 5 too? I thought I actually had another one, but I don't. Uh, let's come over here to build. Is it the same thing? Because if so, he already hits like a truck with that thing. I just built another one. Oh my god. Johnny 5. Why do you only have a reinforced... Is reinforced frame the super big one? Health doesn't seem right. Reinforced frame, Illyrium phase cannon, plated bit. Wait a minute. Did I not build you the awesome one? What is our armor? Reinforced frame. Anodized chassis. Oh, I guess I never built it. And it's 80 supplies and I'm down by... Bloody hell, I don't have that... Well... I got 12% here, so technically I probably do have the time to fly there and back because I actually gain one hour when I do it. And I can just drum up four supplies to get Johnny Five off on this mission. Also, Drigri, what are you doing? Put a real freaking piece of clothing on you, doofus. Good lord. Me too. Why am I still running around in this? Actually, I don't have any more, so... Never mind. I can ignore my own suggestions. Uh, I probably don't need that chameleon suit, but I would not mind something a little bit better, like, say, nanoscale. Keep myself alive a little bit. I like the flanking abilities as well, but at the same time, I also like to hit things for 10 billion damage. I do get extra damage when I'm flanking from Hunter's Instincts, but what about mechs? Maybe I should take blue screen rounds? Or possibly AP rounds? Blue screen rounds really... What am I going to fight that's really going to wreck me? An Archon, for sure, but I can't flank those, and blue screen wouldn't work against it. AP wouldn't work against it either. Tracer and Talon wouldn't matter too much. Needle rounds wouldn't matter. I already kill basically all Advent in one shot, so I don't need Needle. Uh, Shredder probably wouldn't work. What's the best... Hmm. Probably, like, a Sectopod would be, like, the most menacing thing, or a Cyberball. I don't know if blue screen rounds even work on Cyberballs. Are they mechanical enemies? <laughs> I think, maybe, they're both? I can't remember. AP rounds would work on them, though. I don't know. I think I might go blue screen, just to like, you know, I don't hit hard enough, I don't think, probably. Riki, what do you got over here? You have a defense plus four. Can we upgrade these? Why do I have so few PCSs? Defense plus four? That's actually the best I have, believe it or not. Okay. Combat rush is good. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to get that anodized chassis for Johnny 5. We have 9% here. Let's quickly hit that market up. 10.50 a.m. Let's see what time it is when we get back. Four dollars off. That's so ridiculous. 
Uh, we'll sell a trooper corpse. Done. Let me go buy the thing right now to make sure I can actually buy it. Engineering, build items. It's all way at the top this time. Anodized chassis. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hit all that button. Hit this button. Hit this button. Hit that button. So it was 10.50 before. Now it is 12.50. So it took us two hours to fly there and back. All right. Uh, grind, you're out. You're out, grinds. Uh, this isn't really the doofers so much, but razors? Razors? Yeah, let's, let's send razors squad off, I suppose. Uh, so it's going to be Drigri, myself, Victor, Genifav, who is probably at the very bottom. So, yep, Johnny 5, Mark 2. There we go. Now we're looking at 106%. Much better. Reinforced frame versus anodized chassis. Look at this, guys. I've never even seen this before. Where is the reinforced frame? I can't even tell. Where did it go? I can't even tell. Oh, here it is. So three health, one armor, one mobility. This is going to give us eight health. So plus five, plus another armor, and plus another mobility. And God, Johnny Five looks good. It's like if they made short circuit, like... Not 35 years ago, I suppose. Wow. Wow, does he look good. I've never had a, a spark this upgraded before. This is crazy. All right, well, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I mean, the only problem is I don't have any scouts. But, I mean, it's a troop column, right? So there's going to be a command pod. There's going to be a bugged out uh, sector... Uh, not sector pod, but... Um, uh, Andromedon floater pod, whatever those things are called. Archons. So that's probably two things. Very Light is only like 12 enemies. We'll probably screw something up and it'll actually be like eight enemies. So as long as I do a little bit of scouting in the beginning, it probably won't be that bad. Plus we still have Victor here for like kill zones as things come in. I would like the ability to scout a little bit, but I don't think it's worth dropping it. We're just gonna go all out, get in there, blow everything up, boom. A boom, as they say. Drigger, do you really want a smoke bomb though? What about like an acid grenade instead? Smoke bomb's kind of for losers, I think. I mean, if you're gonna smoke something, you may as well just, like, inject cancer into your lungs. Like, what the hell are you thinking? Don't don't even bother with that. Like, spend money to hurt yourself? What a moron. Much better off taking acid. All right, we're good. Let's go. Sky Ranger deployed. I got four aluminum and two dollars. I want my two dollars. Oh boy. And I scan now, I suppose. I feel like I'm forgetting. Let's look around very briefly. Everybody's on Intel here. I keep believing I had ten people on Intel with the Avenger, and I only found a troop column with three days left. That to me seems insane. Like absolutely insane, but whatever. So we got five over here. Zero, nine, eight. Uh, looking at all of the... We got one person in hiding? How the hell did someone survive that? Okay. Let's put our one person in Eastern Europe. Nikola Skripsebek-Ziak. I guarantee you this female with the name Nikola, who somehow magically survived the supply raid, I guarantee you they're definitely, definitely not a faceless. <laughs> For sure. East Africa's up to nine strength. All right. India, you're good. Supply. We're good over here. Supply. Uh, how about over here in Western U.S.? We're looking at three on incel strength, seven, beautiful, 13. Can we be invaded over here? No, over here, no. Liberated here, no. Okay, we cannot be invaded anywhere right now. Absolutely anywhere. Uh, looking good. Let us keep a scanning then. Mitch has recovered from wounds. Nice to see. Six days destroy alien relay. This will give us 23 intel and an intel package, but it's light. Silk mischief. No, thank you. Can't do any light missions right now. My entire squad's out and about. Oh no, another retaliation. One day, three hours. Operation Euthanizing Melody. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Huh. And that's in New Brazil. It's only strength five. Now that's not that bad of a place. Lewis is over here, probably with a basic gun, if I remember correctly. Let's go check out Lewis. I think I just threw him in there, not thinking this would ever be something I needed to deal with. Yes, that's... yes. Good job, Lewis. You and your basic gun are gonna do so well over there. Well, almost, almost done training. Uh, this could be a fairly decent troop training operation if I brought Catherick. And I were to bring, like, 
who could I actually bring for this? We could probably bring, if we wanted to, like Hatteras. We could bring Mitch. Grind. Simon. I got to fix Simon's stats when he gets in there, too. We could bring all three of them. That's three promotions. G! We could bring G! I forgot G was in this campaign. Alma could come along. We could probably do it. Uh, but for now, though, I'm not, like, too caring about it. So I'm going to wait for Alma. Oh, Alma's done in one hour. And there's Jammer. Fantastic. She can go up to Collector if we wanted to. But frankly, I don't think we really need to. So, do I want to go do this mission? Let's look at the difficulty again. Or just look at the difficulty at all. It's only a strength 5 region. It's not that bad. Will I be doing missions here? I mean, honestly, the one I'm trying to liberate right now is strength 4. This is probably one of the best regions I can do. Or retaliation. And I can bring a full squad of 8, too. The only opportunity I'm going to have to do something like that. So it'd be something like Ulma could bring Razor if I pulled him out of training along with Megan, but I don't know. Maybe. Sean could come along. Dario, we haven't seen him in a while. Uh, of course, if we're doing a, a training operation, we'd have to bring, like, Simon. God, what if there's, like, big things here? There's probably not going to be, though, is the thing. Uh, Ella wishes is wounded. Hexagon's wounded. I thought Mitch was recovered. Oh, is he, like... How the hell is Mitch on a mission? What mi what mission is Mitch on? What? Mitch, what mission are you on? Are you on like a secret mission or something? What the hell? Where are you right now? You're not on a mission. Poor Harris, he's been sitting there doing nothing all campaign. Where the Okay, so this is Juan Pablo. There's G. Where the there is no I didn't send Mitch to sabotage the alien facility. I don't think. No, he's not there. I did not send Mitch over here to ambush the troops. I don't think. He's not there. Okay, those are the only two missions that I'm gearing up right now. Mitch, what mission are you on? Base of training. Razor, Megan, Catherick. Mitch, you're right here! What the- Mitch, stop being a freaking finagler. Seriously. Seriously, just stop it. Oh, you're on this mission. <laughs> he's so stealthy, he's right in front of my face and I didn't even see him. Oh, what a moron. Alright, I feel like I should try to do this. You know, if every single person in this entire squad dies, so what? I mean, it's not like I need any of those people uh, to win the game. So let's cancel Catholic here. We do want all those promotions. I know that having Catherine will make all the difference in the world for that. And then we'll probably end up bringing like Alma and whoever else I can bring. I don't know if I should bring Razor and Megan. Probably locked on training in one day. Interesting. Interesting. I would very much definitely like to bring Simon and fix his stats while he's out there. And then we're going to have like Mitch. Hexagon's wounded, wounded, on mission, on mission. Beautiful. That's all the promotions we can possibly get here. And then it's just a matter of having, like, the strongest people in the squad to take everything down, which is probably going to be, like, Dario. Really like to bring Razor. It would be so helpful. Do we have any Shinobis? I think Shinobis are at the end here. Uh, Vinktonir is infiltrating. Danny's infiltrating. Razor's training. Bakes is an officer training for 10. Bakes, you're not an officer training, are you? No, he's not. I feel like I'm just not knowing how to play the game anymore. Oh, he's wounded for 10 days. Why did I say officer training 10? Oh, because there's another officer and that overwrote the wounded. All right, yeah. So I think I'm going to have to also cancer, cancel Razor. Thus we can eke out this locked on training. It says 24 hours here. On Razor. How many hours do I have on the Retaliation? 23 hours. Bloody hell. That's going to be like a second off, but I'm going to cancel it. All right, so when's we returning? It's going to be a Retaliation troop training light operation in Brazil. In Brazil. We're going to get out there in their bamboo huts and uh, bring the internet to them and tell them all about the times that the aliens invaded, i.e. the last 20 years, because they have no clue. Apparently, having a facility set up in their freaking town for like 20 years. Uh, anyways, this will be the next mission. Until then, thanks for watching.
And I'll see you soon. It moves back and no one gets a shot. How the hell did we not get a shot? I don't know, but there goes my rapid reaction. Okay, Matt's gonna get one shot here, but that means this thing's not gonna go down. Unless Victor can pull out something crazy. Ha ha ha! Victor pulls out something crazy. Holy. I think Matt actually for 16. And I think Victor hit for 17. Another reaction shot on the snake, apparently. Oh, my little droney. No, droney ponies in the ground.